trying to use my laptop again. Okay. I have no idea what's wrong with the phone. It just suddenly, I think it was last week, the front facing camera just stopped working. Anyway, I want to make a diabetic friendly apple turnovers for a friend of mine. So I've got all of the things out and the recipe out. I have butter to put in the pan. Turn on the hob. Oh, and that's the noise. I realized I thought it was building works, but I was hearing this noise in the background, but it's not. The hob, the induction hob, makes noise, and I've become so accustomed to it that I don't hear it. And I suddenly realized I was hearing something in the video that was almost overcoming my voice. But it's the whole, it's making a noise now. So I'll try to speak up. Anyway, so I'm going to put a bit of butter in the recipe. A good Yorkshire butter. I have to say there are two butters that to me are the best. One is Yorkshire and the other is Irish. Irish butter is amazing. So what about a tablespoon of butter? I got this recipe from John Cannell at Preppy Kitchen, where a lot of my recipes come from. I'll be leaving a link there. Let's wrap this back up. Now that it's cooler, it's just cooled enough. It's still in the double digits, but it's just cooled enough. I can leave my butter out now. I don't have to take up space in the fridge. Anyway, I'm letting that melt down. This recipe is rather easy to make. And I was going to make a um, pot until I found out by carefully looking at all of the ingredients to make certain what was in it, that shortbread crust has sugar in. Didn't know that. So I'm going to make turnovers instead because puff pastry doesn't have sugar in. Oh well. Anyway, and I still I know I can make a pie crust on my hob when it's turned off at the main, so I know I can do that. Now it's just a matter of getting time to make my own crust. Because, of course, John Cannell says that making a puff pastry is so very easy, but he has been doing it for years, has he not? So 500 grams of apples into the melted butter. And I need to put this out of the way. I think of it as a bit like a, an Olympic ice skater. They make it look so flowing and easy. And of course, they spent years and years training for that. Okay, so how long do I have to cook? Because I'm going to pause during the times of, of long cooking because <clears throat> no point in watching paint dry. Cook for a few minutes while stirring frequently. All right. And then it calls for brown sugar, but I'm going to use coconut sugar because coconut sugar is diabetic friendly. And then lemon juice, cinnamon, salt. I'm not going to add salt because there's salt in the butter. Lemon juice and stir. 
Right, so I need to get the lemon juice out. I didn't get the lemon juice out. Be right back. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Oh, it's not a tablet or a phone, twit. You've got to. I was trying to push the pause button with my finger, and I was like, why aren't you working? Because it's not my tablet or my phone, that's why. I'm supposed to use the cursor. Never mind. Ooh, right. So now I want to stir in a quarter cup of the oh, 55 grams, a quarter cup of the brown sugar. I mean, not brown sugar, I'm using coconut sugar. And then I'm going to make it a sparing quarter cup. The only thing I don't like about coconut sugar is it's dry, but it clumps in spite of being dry, which I don't understand. I don't like that, but whatever. So stir that in. One of the things I do like about coconut sugar is that it doesn't melt the way brown sugar and granulated sugar do. So when I use coconut sugar to make my biscuits, uh, cookies, cakes, that sort of thing, they don't flatten out and get thin, they stay firm. So I like that. I'm using it more often actually. A tablespoon. One tablespoon of lemon juice. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm going to add some other things just to give it a warmer flavour. And I think he says you can do that, but I'm doing it anyway. cinnamon. There's the teaspoon, so there's the half teaspoon. I've got pre-grated fresh cinnamon. Generous teaspoon of that. Of course powder goes everywhere. Never mind. And I'm going to add a bit of maybe um, eighth of a teaspoon of ground fresh nutmeg. So that's my thing. I'm deviating from the recipe there. And just a sprinkle of ground clove. That's mine as well. All he does is the cinnamon. So I will let that cook for a few minutes. And he calls for a teaspoon of cornstarch. Yes, I did use that last time. Okay. Cornstarch it is then. This isn't the one that's opened. Where's the opened one? In the back, of course. Why wouldn't it be? How much? Teaspoon. 
one teaspoon of cornstarch. Right there. And then just cook that up. So I'll finish cooking that and then I'll come back when I'm putting the pastry together. Ah, do we get again? I'm so used to my phone. <laughs> 